Hello, uh, my name is Luke Weil. I'd like to show you the use of DAISY AI, the system that we've developed to automatically frame timber floors. Um, so we'll start off by going into the web app for DAISY, which you'll see here. You can either upload existing files from applications like Revit, if you've built, uh, you're building already in a CAD system, or you can use our own CAD system internally to build the job if you need to. So. Let's go and uh, create a job, give it a file name, open up our CAD system, web-based CAD system for inputting buildings. So we're going to put in some walls. I'm going to do a simple box. Uh, so timber frame box, as you can see. Let's put in some internal walls. Change the wall type. Okay, so. There's some internal walls, and we're going to add a stairwell opening. So. Okay, so there's a stairwell opening. So you can see now that we've got this relatively simple building with a stairwell in it, um, we now need to assign the uh, preferences that we wish so we can put uh, dimensions in in metric or imperial units. Um, we can design in Europe or North America, different codes of practice, obviously. So we're going to go with North America, Canada or USA. I'm going to go for USA. Uh, we can design floor the floor performance to code minimum or above code minimum, up to 25% above codes. I'm just going to go for the minimum code allowance and different centers obviously we want to try all the different options to, to find the optimal solution so i'm going to keep them all on there okay next thing is to define the depth of the floor that we want to choose so there's a range of standard depths to choose from and then we need to pick the manufacturers and the types of products we want to use so we can design with various materials, solid lumber, engineered wood products, glue lamb, LVL, eye joists. I'm going to go for eye joists from, say, Pinkwood. Okay, it's found 15 appropriate to that depth. We'll take all of those. Uh, we'll perhaps use glue lamb for the beams in the floor. We could again use any, any engineered wood product we like. And again, the rim boards, we can choose, perhaps we'll choose LVL. Uh, need to pick a manufacturer, say Trust Choice. So now we've got an LVL rim board with glue lamp beams and eye joist floor. Okay. The secondary flooring, we can pick, uh, say, seven eighths of an inch flooring, uh, glued and nailed. And let's assume we've got a ceiling here, uh, five eighths of an inch ceiling. Okay. The loads, <coughs> they're standard loads applied to the floor we can change them if we like but i'm going to go with the code loadings we can put job references in if we want to on the job so i just want to go straight and design this floor now so i'm going to save it to the daisy server okay that's now saved on the daisy server and if we go back into the daisy server you'll see here the job that we put in is work in progress and now i can run that job so I'm running it now <clears throat> and its status is going to change to pending. It'll come up as pending in a second. Then it will go into a status called queued and then it will start running as this job is running at the moment and ultimately hopefully be successful. And then we'll be able to come back and view the floor once it's succeeded. So I'll come back to you in five or 10 minutes after this job has run and hopefully show the result then. Thank you. Oh, hi there. Um, OK, so we've now got the job back. Uh, I got an email saying that it was uh, it, the job had succeeded. So we're going to go and look at that job now. Go back into Daisy CAD. OK, so here's the here's the job. Um, we can see all the joists and beams, uh, glue lamp beams. Uh, 
I joist floor L V L rim boards. So that's now the job completed. Uh, it took Daisy about five minutes to design that job and we can get a full requisition and price on that floor now. So thanks very much for listening uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.